Oh, it's been a while. Hi, welcome to Coffee and Tools this week. Uh, got this about a month ago and ran a lot of boards through it. This is a thickness planer from DeWalt. It's not the top line. It's probably pretty close to the bottom of the line for maybe the DeWalt machines in this in this range of a, like a 12 inch thickness planer. There's a couple things. Pulled it out of the box. Number one, it's 80 pounds. It's heavy. Uh, the other thing that I noticed immediately was when you get something like this, you really need a broom and a dustpan because you're going to have sawdust. Man, you're going to have sawdust. Hi, welcome back. This is the DeWalt Thickness Planer. Uh, it's this one here runs around 369, I think it is in the stores right now. It's a good good price really. I looked at a porter cable and the porter cable is two blade, this is three blade. Now having three blade, that was a that was to me was a little bit of an upgrade. It's definitely a little bit but more, you know, better machine. It's going to be running lumber through at a pretty good pace. Uh, personally I didn't care how uh, fast the lumber went through. I kind of wanted the lumber to go through as fairly slow as possible because it was like I just want a good finish. You know, I'm not in a hurry. I just want a really good finish. Uh, so I took a look at several different machines, and this one here, for my money, I thought, well, that's that's pretty decent. There's only a few issues I ran into with it, so I'll tell you, when you get this baby, if you buy one, you get out of the box. The first thing that totally confused me was this bar right here. It's it's a lock bar, and what it is is it locks this head down once you've positioned the head as to far the cutting head as far as you know up and down where you want it. Then pushing this down is going to lock it, but what I didn't know is when I first pulled it out of the box, I was like, okay, is it in the locked position now or is it just floating? You know, which one is it? And as it turned out, it was already, I believe, in the locked position. And that's what confused me because I was pushing the bar down trying to see if I could unlock it or lock it or, you know, what's going to happen. Right now it's in the unlocked. So just so you can see, there, that's the locked position of that bar. Now, that has locked this head in, so you shouldn't be, you know, cranking on this or trying to make any adjustments now because you've locked it. Now, to unlock it, it takes a little bit of finger pressure, but pops up, and then you can crank and go up and down whatever you want. A couple of good things with this machine I liked. The scale here is really good, but there's quite a bit of distance between this red indicator and the scale back here. So what you want to do is always make sure your head, or you know, from your eye, is back at about the same spot looking through here to read that gauge. So if you come back to make a different, uh, another piece of wood, and you say, okay, I want the same amount of depth and cut and everything, uh, that way you always get the same on the scale. It's, if you get your head up here or down here, you can easily change the angle of this to where you're seeing the scale. So found that to be a little awkward because there's quite a bit of distance between this red pointer and this actual scale. And when you get two points away from each other like that, you can get this kind of effect. So not good, but as long as you know how to deal with it, it's all good. It is okay. The other thing is this feeler gauge right here. Now this is... Uh, this gauge here actually shows you the lumber coming in here. So in other words, you know, wherever this is set, the lumber can't be any thicker than obviously wherever this is at, because that's as much lumber as you can stuff in the machine at this point. But this gauge here lifts, and it shows you roughly how much cut, perceivably, you're going to be taking off. So when you're using this gauge, the problem what I saw was that the wood always has to be like right here. It cannot be over here, obviously, you're not going to get a reading. Now you could do it over here and have not use this, but in other words, now if you're using this all the time, then this part of the blade of the machine is always at work because you're always, theoretically, you're always going to be using this gauge. It's only a drag gauge too, uh, which I was sort of surprised. It's not roller or anything like that. And again, I, I think DeWalt could have impre you know, improved a little bit on that, but not bad. The uh, stop switch is right here. Uh, I think the stop switch should have been up here on top or somewhere on the machine a little bit easier. But this is okay. But when this is finished doing a, a run, you're over here behind it catching your board. And this is up the front to stop it. So again, you know, it didn't look like they gave a whole lot of thought to that. Now this one here is really your adjustment for driving this thing all the way up and all the way down. It's a little over 12 inches, so you can get 12, up to 12 and a half, you know, in here and run it through. But again, you're going to run into problems. There's guides up in here, and if it gets caught in those guides a little bit, 
this will jam and it did jam on me once and I realized the mistake everything had to be absolutely dead in line to run the a 12 and a half inch board through or it could get hung up so that was the only problem that even the local contractor said they were taking some of these and they were going back to the store because of the jamming situation so just so you're aware so I made sure after that all my boards were real nicely lined up and they would not run into these these little sides these little guides that are up on the side because obviously you don't want any friction you want that board to just walk through very nicely and do a, a fabulous finish that's about all I can tell you about this machine it, it three blade does a good job but always make sure this is unlocked until you're you know ready to you know do your job and then it takes a little bit of pressure cut it down lock it now it's not going to move. You can run your, your board footage through. Uh, the exhaust side, let's take a look at that. Let's see if I'll turn this around. 80 pounds. Jeez. Oh, yep, it's a heavy machine. On the exhaust side, we had this. And this uh, lined up okay with my vacuum cleaner because I use a big wet vac, you know, to suck all the material up. But the problem was with that was the vac got, it's a, it's a 20 gallon machine. It filled up like that after couple boards on the back side this comes off not too bad because you kind of want to fold this up and put it away when you're not going to be using it and so with this hanging out here and it's like it has a screw under here and stuff it's like it's kind of a pain in the butt because now I have a problem I have to take this apart put this somewhere don't lose the screw then I can fold this up and you know put the machine somewhere so I guess that's it for this week in coffee and tools is just try to look at 80 pounds of equipment.